this is where he lived and when the Jackson Five were here, they lived here okay. with him. And there's the pool house where there were so many parties, legendary parties, things that legends are made of in the pool house, uh, where they were also rehearsed in the pool house. Okay. Um, there's just so many different rooms and, and ornamentation in the house. Uh, there's a couple that owns the house now and you can rent it for private parties, for private events. Okay. I've been here for CD release parties in the pool house. When they did the very first Motown 25, we had a party here and we sat here in the Motown pool house and watched Michael Jackson do the historic moonwalk. Oh, right. And that was a lot of fun. And we had the Four Tops and the Miracles and everyone have had parties here. So I've been here several times for some wonderful events. And this is just one of the things that makes Detroit musical history so special. We want to get some really good shots of the mansion. So come on, let's go. Can we go on the front? So, um, Giselle, when Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five came here with their daughter, um, Michael was about maybe five years old? About five or six years old. I think, I'm not, I'm not sure, but he was less than 10. Okay. He was less than 10 when they came here. And sometimes as kids, you would come down the street, just come over here, and you would see kids playing on the porch and going into the pool house. And there probably was them, along with Barry's daughter, uh, Hazel, who wound up marrying Jermaine. And, you know, Jermaine was everybody's heart throb. In that age group, because everybody had their, everybody wanted their, they had a Jackson that they were going to marry. Yeah. And they had their, their Jackson that they were going to marry, and they would be good. Yeah. So, once upon a time, Michael Jackson, Jackson Five, Marlon, and yes, they all Tito, play here. Yes. Jermaine, they all play right here on this front porch. There's so many of the wonderful parties for Motown were held here because this is where Barry lived. I'm sure the, the walls have stories and history. <laughs> right, right. And Dinah Ross used to have parties on yeah, the Yeah, they would be over in the pool house. And there's a mural. There's things on the wall that have pictures of the Supreme Okay. All right. So now we're going to go over to, go to Motown. Motown. We're going right. to go to Hitsville. I know you still want me like I want you. Okay, G, what street are we on now? This is Heidelberg and Mount Elliott on the near east side of Detroit. And this is an internationally known art project by Tyree Dyke. Okay. And you're going to be surprised at the artwork that you're going to see. That's all I'm going to say. Is you're going to well, I noticed a house with a bunch of dolls. Yes. That is Stand just, all over it. That's just the start. That's just the start. Okay. Are you guys ready? Come on. I think we're in for a big treat today. All right. Now, can you imagine the man you love saying, welcome home, sweetie, and brings you to this? <laughs> there is every kind of doll that you can think of. Teddy bears. There's even a octopus, a pink one. That looks like it's rotten or something. Oh my goodness. How long, how long do you think it would take him to do something like this? Months and months and months. And we have a lot more to share with you on this street. I am having so much fun here in Detroit. And on this street, I run into the judge. Hi, I'm Judge Craig Strong, Wayne County Circuit Court, and I'm having a wonderful time here. You know, I just got off the plane. I've been in New Orleans this week for the, for the National Bar Association okay. and seen all of this makes me think of norms oh, and what right. they could be doing as well. You know, because this is such an exceptional um, area. There's no crime. 
no crack houses, and fun houses, and it just brings people from everywhere together to see what people can do. And I see people here from all over all, the world. All over, all, all occupations. I mean, this is a melting pot of this area, and I love it. I'm glad yes. you're here from yes. Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, I sharing it with Phoebe. That's right. Yes. Well, all you in Kalamazoo, come to Detroit and join <laughs> us. Love you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. And what's your name? My name is Nadir. Okay, Nadir, what kind of music do you produce? We call it Distorted Soul. Oh, and uh, it's a fusion of funk, rock, jazz, hip hop. And uh, you can learn more about it at distortedsoul.com. Okay. Yeah. All right. And how long have you been producing music? Forever. Forever? Forever. All right. For, for and you're on Facebook? Uh, I'm on Facebook as well, so if you go to distortedsoul.com, you can get the Facebook, you can oh, get the Twitter, nice. you can get the MySpace, all of that. Okay, so what do you think about this street we're on? Heidelberg Project is amazing. I mean, this is this is a world famous place, and uh, I think that it, it's a tremendous example of what communities can do yeah. uh, to to really turn around a, a place that. that is had fallen into some disrepair uh -huh. and just the decision to come in and, and go and we can make, make artwork and and i think that that's one of the things that's really emblematic of what's yeah. happening in detroit all over the place yeah. there are a lot of other places uh there's a place called the artist village if you go on the website where they're doing some similar things yeah. uh, with an organization called uh, motor city blightbusters um but again the heidelberg project has, has been here 24 years and just as you can see i mean it's, it's just a tremendous asset to, to the community uh to the state and to the world well it's great this is wonderful i'm having a blast in detroit guys you gotta come down here especially on the street you, you've and gotta hopefully come. you will run into him also and you gotta listen to his music yeah i mean really in in as for all of the things that people are saying about Detroit and all of the trouble that we're in and all of that stuff, Detroit is going through a creative renaissance right now. And the and she said it earlier on the stage, arts and culture. Arts and culture is the new industry that's going to come out of Detroit that is going to yes. catapult us back to where we were before. We're doing. Uh, I mean, the music scene here has been amazing for years already. So you can talk about John Lee Hooker. You can talk about Motown. Yeah. You can talk about uh, Eminem, the MC5. Yeah. You can talk about the Stooges. You can talk, who, who else can we talk about? We can talk about Anita Baker. We, I, I can just keep naming names and naming names and naming names. And the new artists here are amazing, yes. tremendous. Yes. And so, again, and we're not talking about just music. We're talking about visual arts. We're talking about, you know, wonderful sports teams, all of that. So I, it's, you know, arts, culture, entertainment, media is a very important part of, of Detroit and where we're going to go and what we're going to do. So, That's great. Yeah. And guys, just think, this is my first visit to Detroit, Michigan, mm. and I am having a ball. Oh, how long have you been here? I've been here how many hours now? Since 11 o'clock. Oh, you haven't even had time I to party know. yet. 2009 was recognized for his artistic contributions to the city of Detroit by being awarded an honorary doctorate of fine art. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if he's going to come up here for me or not, because he does that, but please give it up big time for Dr. Tyree Guyton. Oh, oh. And this is my first visit to Detroit. Been here since 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and this place is awesome. Thank you. you know, I'm really having a great time in Detroit, Michigan. How long did it take you to get this street together? 24 years. 24 years. Wow. Yeah. And today I see people from all over the world. I have people flying in here from Paris and all over the world coming in here today. I just got back from Switzerland myself. Okay. I'm working on a big project. I'm on, on my way back to Switzerland in October. I working on, I'm working on my dissertation. Uh, I'm asking the question what is art today. I'm also using this product as a medicine to transform and to connect the world. Yes, and it's killing this whole community. The 
Detroit itself. Um, sorry. That's this is right. Great. This is great. Well, see, that just goes to show you that if you go out there and you believe it, and you believe it to the point that you begin to see it, you can make it happen. Yes. And that's what I've done here. And a dream and vision that you put together, taking 24 years. This is, this is wonderful. Thank you. It's really wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thanks a, thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is very nice. The Hiding Work Project. Oh my God, it has been a treat. And I hope you have enjoyed it also. And just think, you got to meet the owner. Yes, yes, Tyree yes. Guyton. Tyree Guyton, he's very reclusive. Yes. He does his job, he doesn't talk. His creativity speaks for itself. And sharing it with Phoebe got an interview. Can you yes. believe that? Phoebe White got an interview. Got an interview right here at the Heidelberg Project. If you come to Detroit, it's on the east side. It's located at Mount Elliott and Heidelberg. And there are four or five streets involved in this project. You need to park your car and yes. walk. You have to. You have to see this.